Hey guys and welcome to my Starbound server tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your own server, how to set your own password, and how to port forward if you need help with that. So for best results I have the list here. You need Starbound of course, mine's still in beta. You need Notepad++. You need to be an admin on your PC. And you need to know how to log into your router or modem. If you don't know how, you can do a Google search for the default username and password to get into your uh, router or modem. So let's go ahead and uh, browse our local files. So if you open up Starbound, you right click Starbound, go to Properties, click on Local Files, Browse Local Files, and then I'm going to close out of here. Alright, so the file that we're looking for is in this absolute path so it's in the starbound folder in the steam folder and uh, we're looking for starbound.config so if we right click it edit with notepad plus plus there's a few things I want to show you on here one is the maximum players you can change that right there another one is the UPnP port forwarding Okay, so this is the universal plug and play port forwarding. This will automatically port forward for you if your router supports it. Okay, if your router does not support it, then this is useless and you have to port forward anyway. But I just want to show you where this is. So let's go up to um, server passwords right here. Alright, so there's three passwords set here. Um, if you only want one password or or two or three whatever you can uh, you can do that here so let's delete these two because uh, if you're like me you only like one password for your server make sure you delete that last comma or you will get a server crash let's just name it password and then we have a new password of password now another thing I wanted to point out to you is the game port right here this is going to be the port that we're port forwarding okay so if the UPnP doesn't work then we're gonna to have to port forward this port to our server computer okay so let's go ahead and hit save on that and then we can move on make sure you back this file up before you save it though so you have something uh, original default that you can replace this with if you mess something up in that configuration file. Some people will tell you to go into the assets folder and edit this default configuration, but this is just default. This is just uh, what loads before it loads the starbound configuration file. So that's not exactly what we need. We need the starbound config. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the command prompt. So we're going to go to CMD and we're going to see what our IP configuration is. So we'll type in IP config. In here, under our Ethernet adapter, we're going to see an IPv4 address, a subnet mask, and a default gateway. And those are what we're going to need. Um, so basically, with port forwarding, we're taking other people's internet or uh, networking traffic that's hitting our router and we're going to have to port forward it to somewhere and so that somewhere is going to be wherever the server is being hosted and it happens to be on this computer right now so we're going to want to port forward to this address okay so let's talk a little bit about static IP addresses versus dynamic um, every time I turn on my computer this address right here could or could not be the same it depends on if another computer has this address or just whatever the DHCP server on your router happens to want to give me that at any particular time. So um, we want to make sure that this stays the same all the time. So let's go ahead and do that now. So if you right click this bottom right hand corner, open Network and Sharing Center, change adapter settings, we're going to choose the local area connection, go to Properties, come down to IPv4 and go to Properties again. Now yours is going to say automatic and automatic and that's fine in the, um, 
if you're not hosting a server. But since we're hosting a server, we, we want a particular address to, to uh, forward all traffic to, okay? So I'm just going to enter the information Okay, from our IP configuration command that we did earlier. Enter exactly as it's written here into, into these fields here. And for your DNS server, go ahead and just enter your default gateway as your DNS server. And if you want a secondary one, just go ahead and use the Google DNS server, which is 8.8.8.8. .8 Hit OK. Hit Close. And now what you've done is you've chosen a static IP IPv4 address that this computer will use every time you turn it on as long as the DHCP server is willing to give it up. Okay, as long as no one else has it, you have it. And if someone does have it, well, that leads to other problems, but I'm not going to get into it in this video. So let's go ahead and go into our default gateway, which is our router, this number right here. So open a browser. Um, your login will be different than mine. Just do a Google search for your make and model, like I said, and then default login. Um, you also want to change it after you log in, so figure out how to do that too, depending on your router model. For my particular router, I have a virtual server that I need to get into. Yours might be a DMZ gaming port forwarding, port triggering, anything like that, you might have virtual server too. Anyway, you want to get anywhere you can that has the option for you to do any kind of port forwarding. So don't be afraid to look through all the menus, even the advanced menus. Don't be afraid. You can't do any harm just by looking. So once you find the port forwarding part of your router, you're going to take the port that we need to port forward. Of course, is 21025. Um, and the ending port is going to be the same. Now we're going to port forward at 2.34 like we talked about because that's where the server is going to be. We're going to use the protocol of TCP and UDP. I make sure I enable mine and then I hit apply. Okay. Now yours might look different than mine but it's going to have the same basic concept of port forwarding. What port, where is it going, what protocol. Okay, so I want to talk to you a little bit about UPnP. Um, this is my UPnP setting, so I can enable it or disable it with that checkbox. Um, once again, like I said, look through your settings. If you have UPnP, you want to use that instead of port forwarding. It makes it a lot easier. So once that's finished, though, once we port forwarded, we can close out of this and close out of this, and now we are ready to start our server. So let's get back into the Starbound root folder. See, it's in the Steam Apps common Starbound. Okay. Now, if we go into Win32 and we scroll down, we will find Starbound Server.exe. Right click it, create a shortcut. And then I'm going to just drag and drop that to my desktop. And now I can run my server from my desktop. The other way that you can launch your Starbound server is when you launch Starbound this menu will come up you can just hit launch Starbound server down here. The disadvantage of the second way, of this way, is that you actually have to be logged into Steam. When you do it my way you don't have to be logged into Steam. So once this is finished loading we can go ahead and launch our Starbound client. So we'll do that now. Go to multiplayer, pick your guy. Okay, so enter your IP address, the one that you chose as static for the server. Static IP address. And once we join, here we are. We're in the server. Now, if you want your friends to join you, what you need to do is head on over to whatsmyip.org and you give them this address. Okay, you connected with your internal IP address. You need them to connect your external IP address right here okay this might change from time to time so just check it if it does give them the new one so when they connect um, you're gonna want to add them to your group so 
you just ask them their player name and you enter it here so let's say it's Drillbot or something you invite them and then after they accept the invite um, their icon will come up right here you click on their icon and then you can travel you can choose beam to ship or or something like that and uh, let you beam to their ship and they can beam to your ship and then you guys can you can even form a bigger party and you can travel around and, and fight with each other um, anyway guys I just want to give you a little preview on what I plan on doing in some of my future videos I plan on uh, working on the, the recipes folder and kind of modifying you know what it takes to make some of these so I'll, I'll make a video on this in the future but if you guys liked the video and it helped you make sure you click like and if you want to see more in the future just go ahead and subscribe anyway guys thanks for watching